A Birkin bag for her is probably the equivalent of paying 10p for a plastic bag in Tesco's. I'm not being dramatic, but this is a health hazard at this point. Like, it's gone to the point where I tried to walk across the room to get this thing to stand on, show you the bottom of the dress, almost died. My eyesight has gotten so bad that I can't even see if I'm in focus because the viewfinder is blurred because of my eyesight. So I could be in focus or I could be out of focus. It's kind of like a fun game of like, oh my god, am I in focus or am I not? Probably not, so that's really going to be irritating when I'm watching this pack. Okay. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a... Oh my gosh, my cat literally just ate my other cat. Ooh. Today I'm going to be doing a big misguided haul. I saw that Stassi, I think her name's like Anast Anastasia, Anastasia, Stassi baby. I don't know, she's the one that's always in David Dobrik's vlogs and she's like Kylie Jenner's bestie, like the blonde version of Kylie Jenner pretty much. I've been following her on Instagram for ages and she came out with a collection with Misguided. So I thought I would just try a few of the pieces, see the quality and if the stuff is cute or not. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and make sure to follow me on Instagram and turn on post notifications. And in my last video, I did this thing where I posted a competition in the video where if you DM me an emoji, the first person, am I explaining, I'm explaining this really badly, oh my God. Um, but the first person to DM me the emoji that I put in the video gets a shout out. So the shout out goes to... If you guys enjoy the video and get some fashion inspo, I'm going to link below all the clothes so you can get your hands on them. And yeah, let's get on with the video. So I have this big misguided bag and I'm just going to go right in. I am going to try on all the clothes as well. The first thing is the most basic thing and they are these jeans. They are really cool though because usually I see like skinny jeans and stuff on my skydive which are not my thing like at all whereas these ones okay they look kind of skinny i'm gonna try on everything as well by the way and link all of the items down below so you can get your hands on it so check the description box if you like any of the stuff so the jeans are straight leg and they have this leg has one rip and this leg has two rips as you can see and they are a straight leg i got these in a size six i hope they fit but i'm also i don't know if i'm actually going to wear these that much just because i don't think i think they're too skinny and i don't like skinny jeans because i honestly have like it's like my legs mm, i just mm, i can't remember the last time i wore like skinny jeans or leggings because i just don't they just honestly like i feel like i've got little boy legs i'm just gonna put it out there okay i've said it I've got little boy legs. So these are the jeans. They actually fit really, really nicely, especially around the waist. They fit really nice. They can sit just below your belly or you can pull them up. I guess you could like add a belt as well. Um, they have the rip here and then the two rips there and they're not as skinny as I thought. I might actually keep these jeans. They're really, really, really cute. I don't know. They're comfy as well because the material is really soft. Like it's a soft jean material and Overall, this is so cute. Imagine this is one of those like diamante belts. That would be a look. See, so, yeah, I'm moving on. The next dress that I got is this lilac one and it's so pretty, honestly. This is actually really cute and the material is the same as like any other like satin dress you get off misguided. It's like a little bit thin, but also it's not see-through. So I don't think that that's a problem because I quite like when dresses are thin Actually, I don't know, I think that's a lie. And then I think it's just gonna go like below or like just above my knees, but obviously because I have really short legs, it will be like gonna be a maxi dress. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, mm. This is a sad day because I feel like the dress had so much potential, but it's not, it's not working for me. Like it doesn't fit me at all. I got a size six and it is like huge on me here. I guess it's because I, I probably need like more curves to wear Oh my god, my whole bra is actually out. I probably need more curves to wear a dress like this. But I'm confused because it's like tight around my legs a little bit. But then, um, saggy here. But I guess if you guys have bigger hips, this dress would look really, really, like, nice. It would fit better. The top part is so cute, which is why I'm so annoyed. Like, it's a really nice dress. It's just not, it doesn't fit me at all. And it should fit like a glove. <laughs> if it was like this, it would be really cute but it's not it's like this i'm really sad though 
I don't really care, I'm saving money. The next thing is this satin corset top. It's really nice, it has this wiring down the front. It has like five panels to keep the shape and then it has wiring at the back and then a nice zip at the back as well. This is really, really nice. I like the square neck bit at the top of it. I think that's really cool and unique. I don't know if this is gonna fit me and I'm also like unsure on the bra situation. I don't know if I can wear a bra with this, but I sort of hate going through the nipple just because, um, honestly, I know that this generation is all about through the nipple, but the last time I freed my nipple, freed my nipple, the last time I freed my nipple, my mum was like, Evie, can you go put a bra on? Like, cause I feel like the older generation don't get that whole like movement, like free the nip, like no. My mum was like, Evie, it's a bit weird that your like nipples are out. And I was like, okay mum, why are you looking? I'm just kidding. It's too awkward. Like I remember I went to this, um, it was like a show with a red carpet beforehand and I forgot my bra. Honestly, that was the worst experience of my life because I went there and they were taking flash pictures and you can literally see my nipples. I was like trying to stand like, like honestly, I hated it. It was not fun for me. Like if you want your nipples to show, like you go for it because it does look like, I think it looks really cool. Like especially with some tops, you just can't wear a bra. Stassi has some accessories in the collection. I think she had two necklaces and then like a few bags. I swear this is like a Birkin bag lookalike. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure I've seen like Stormy holding one of these and then I saw like an article about how Stormy's bag was the price of someone's college tuition or something random like that. Always the case, um, I'll be surprised, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a Birkin bag. It's quite cool actually, it has like these two flappy bits which I think you do like that and then you put that and then you put that on top and then you like twist. I think, I don't even know honestly because I will never be rich enough to own a Birkin. I think even if I was a millionaire, okay maybe millionaire I would but like if I was like a a really almost a rich, almost a millionaire. I still don't think I would spend like three hundred thousand pounds on a bag. I would rather buy like a house in Spain. But then again, like I guess if you're Kylie, you've probably got a house in Spain and like a house in every other country, and like your house is worth like seven billion pounds. So yeah. a Birkin bag for her is probably the equivalent of paying ten p for a plastic bag in Tesco's. Like she probably doesn't even think about it. One thing that I'm kind of weirded out, but I'm not like weirded out by it. <laughs> It's honestly like really creepy. Um, the metal is like kind of rusting already, which is a bit weird. I don't know if I just got like a dodgy bag, but it's like gone gray already, like around all the details, which is like a bit annoying because it's only gonna get worse from here. Do you know what I mean? Next up, we have, I don't know what this is. I don't remember buying this. Three, two, one, surprise. This is the kind of thing I need to try on to know if I like it or not, but it's a little bit um, questionable. Definitely if I was an LA living person that had like cool dinner parties to go to, I would wear this. But if I wore this on the tube, I feel like people would be a bit um, confused. It's almost the sleeves are too puffy. Then again, I'm saying this, I might try it on and absolutely love it. So. I can't talk too soon. Is that an expression? Oh my god, I just looked at myself in the viewfinder. Um, this next, oh my god, I look like a bird. Um, so as predicted, this top, I look like I'm trying to be in Downton Abbey or something. It looks like I'm auditioning for Downton Abbey and I'm not, I feel a bit uncomfortable with that. <laughs> I look like I've got shoulder pads or something. It's honestly like too much for me. It's a really, really cute top if it didn't have this. Like, if it was just like that, so cute. But the shoulders, like, knock someone out with these shoulders. Um, but, yeah, I just don't, I don't think I'm feeling it, to be honest. I think it's really cute. And especially if you've got, like, an extra, like, event, this would be really cute. But it's just the shoulders are too, I feel like, like a chicken. I don't know, maybe if it's Halloween and you want to dress up as a toilet roll, It'd be really cute. I'm kidding. It's <laughs> that's like a bit too mean for me. The last thing in the bag is black. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think it was like a set. The top is like a slinky um, one shoulder top with this ruching down the side, which I think is a vibe. I really like this. It's really like not my style, like I've already said. Oh my god, the skirt's cute too. It's like a ruched skirt. Literally, like, this is so cute, but like I just don't know where I'd wear it to. Oh, that'd be really cute if the skirt was like a short skirt, because I could wear that clubbing. With that, 
I can't even walk in that. Okay, when I say that I literally can't walk in this, I'm not joking. I feel like I've been duct taped together by this freaking skirt. I guess it's good because it like sucks in everything, but like I don't care at this point. I want to be able to walk, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not being dramatic, but this is a health hazard at this point. Like it's gone to the point where I tried to walk across the room to get this thing to stand on, show you the bottom of the dress, almost died. Are you actually kidding me? Look at this, this, okay, that looks like it's stretchy. Don't be fooled, it's not. <laughs> I literally feel like my legs are duct taped together. It's really stressful, honestly. I wouldn't wish this upon anyone. But yeah, I feel like I'm definitely probably being dramatic, but at the same time, it's a dilemma because the dress is really, really cute and I love the top. It comes as like a set as well, so I couldn't keep the top and refund the skirt. Um, I guess I could cut it and make it like a mini skirt. Um, so yeah, this is my review. <laughs> my review. That is the end of this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, let me know if you like this setup with the pink background. I'm really undecided. Oh, I'm undecided. I'm really undecided on it because it's um, very different and I feel like, I don't know if I prefer my bed background. Um, but I put a tree here, which I feel like just didn't, it wasn't, I feel like it didn't really do anything for me. Just kind of there. It sort of looks a bit out of place. I kind of really regret doing that. But it's too late now. But yeah, let me know if you prefer this background or my bed or my bed. <laughs> it's my only other really option. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram to see me styling these clothes. And yeah, I'll see you in my guys, in my guys. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Together we fall